Hey guys, Eric with a K here. Today's video is going to be on the Dyson blow dryer. Is it worth the $400 price tag? First started using it, I was like, OMG, this is amazing. And so this was the blow dryer that I was using. It is the, it's so worn, it is so worn. It is the Baby List, it's not even there anymore, TT Tourmaline, Tourmaline Titanium in the 300, in 3000, excuse me. And so just as a comparison, they are about the same weight. I am going to get more in depth with the comparison as the video goes on. But just for starters, there are there is the cool shot on here, just as there is a cool shot on here. There are different, like high, low, medium, whatever. On here it is high and low. And then over here you can go up to, you know, warm, a little bit warmer and then hot. And then over here you can do same thing, warm, cool, hot, whatever. So for that, they are very similar. These are magnetic, which again, I will get into more details as the video goes on. But let's jump into this video. In this video, I blow dry half my head with the Dyson and I blow dry the other half with the baby list. I put curls in my hair afterwards because I cannot look at myself for too long with pin straight hair. It's just not a flattering look for me. So also I do want to say that I am a righty in life, but when I blow dry hair, I am a lefty. So it was a little awkward doing this side of my head just because I had to move the brush a little bit. It's always awkward when I do that side of my head. I can blow dry either way, but I prefer to blow dry as a lefty. Just putting that out there in case you guys see in the video. I don't want you guys writing in the comments like, you don't know how to blow dry because I do. I blow dry professionally. I'm a hairstylist. So, to you. This one is like totally beat up. I've had it for like ever. Um, this is the Tourmaline Titanium 3000. It doesn't have a back on it anymore um, because I travel with this for weddings and it broke off in my bag. So there you go. It's like super well loved. Like, wow. And then this one, um, the difference is Dyson one, they like boast that these are magnetic and that you can move them. Um, this isn't magnetic, but you could still move it. I don't really know why that's like a big thing. Um, this one only has this attachment, but you can always get like a diffuser to put on it. The Dyson has two nozzles and then one diffuser. And I just want to read some of the things. So first of all, the Dyson goes for $399.99, which is one cent away from $400. And the, this blow dryer right here, goes for this is very cheap this is not an expensive one but it goes for sixty dollars and on some websites it goes for like seventy dollars the dyson on the website it says quick control drying with built-in extreme heat protection to maintain your hair's natural shine uh the hair dryer with magnetic styling tools which i had already mentioned and then it says built-in extreme heat protection from natural shine the Dyson Supersonic hair dryer measures air temperature 20 times a second and regulates the heat. This, protect, this prevents extreme heat damage to protect your hair's natural shine. And then it says, fast drying, controlled styling, air multiplier technology amplifies air three times, producing 41 liters of air per second. A, forced, a focused jet of air for precise simulation, drying, and styling. And then it says, engineered for balance. While other dryers can be top heavy, the Dyson Supersonic hair dryer is engineered with the motor in the handle, shifting its center gravity to feel balanced in the hand, which it does, I can say that. And then it says, one click, 360 rotating attachments. The Dyson Supersonic hair dryer comes with rotating magnet magnetic attachments so you can quickly click them on and off during styling. And then for the different nozzles, I only have the one that's on it right now. But so the different nozzles are, there is the Dyson smoothing nozzle, so that dries and styles hair at the same time. And to that I say, cut the shit Dyson, because that is what all of the nozzles do on every blow dryer, like stop it, stop, that's annoying. And it says the Dyson smoothing nozzle dries hair evidently while using smooth wide air. And then the other nozzle is the Dyson styling concentrator, so it says air flow precisely where you need it. The Dyson Styling Concentrator produces a high velocity blade of air that, that's perfect for styling. And because it's focused, you can style one section at a time without disturbing the rest. That is every nozzle. And then uh, the Dyson Natural Dryer, which is the magnetic diffuser that goes on it. Uh, the Dyson diffuser is engineered to disperse air evenly around each curl. It helps simulate, it stimulates natural drying to help reduce frizz and for improved definition, that is what a diffuser does. So there's no difference there. That are what, that's what these things do. 
Um, trying to think if there's anything else that I need to talk about. Oh, there's three precise settings on the Dyson, which you can see on the back. Um, so pretty much one side is for the high, low, medium. There's three settings. And the other side is for how much heat you want to apply. I always have it on the highest of both. And there you go. Uh, the three precise speed setting for fast drying, regular drying, or gentle drying. And then the four precise heat settings is uh, 212 Fahrenheit fast drying styling, 176 regular drying, and then 140 gentle drying, and then the cool button, which is down over here. This is the power over here. Let me get the zone. There you go. Okay, I think that's it. Yes, that's it. So I'm gonna do half of my head with the Dyson and I'm gonna do the other half with the Babyliss. Again, this, I don't have the best Babyliss that there is, so please keep that into consideration. As for weight, there, I actually think the Babyliss is a little bit lighter. I actually know it is. Let's see, I'm right-handed, so. No, yeah, I think, I think the Babyliss is a little bit lighter. I gotta be honest with you guys. If you guys do get used to using one or the other, it is a little weird to go back and forth. So, uh, as you guys know, I have curly hair. This is my hair naturally drying. I just came out of the shower. I cannot brush through my hair without putting product in it, so I did put Moroccan oil. I distributed an even amount on both sides. So, let's get into this video. I'm going to be using the brush that I always use on myself. I have to clean the hair out of it. I'm well aware of that, but it's going to be equal on both sides. So, let's just get into this video. I'm going to set a timer so that I know... How long? I guess we'll set it for a few minutes and we'll see how far I get on either one. Set this one for five minutes. And this is the Dyson and we'll start. This is my hair with the Dyson. I didn't have a blow dryer and uh, I didn't have a mirror in front of me so that I can see exactly what was going on. But now I'm going to set the timer for five minutes and I'm going to use my baby list on this side of my hair. And let's see, five minutes and we start. Five minutes. All right, so after five minutes on both sides, let's see how my hair looks. I didn't do a very good job up at top on my roots, but I don't know. Does it look exactly the same or does it look exactly the same? Let's do a field test. I feel like to the touch, this side feels a little bit smoother, but I don't know if I'm just making that up in my head. Um, like not $400 smoother though. Doesn't feel that much smoother. Um, I'm going to leave it to you guys and you guys can tell me if you can even notice a difference at all. Uh, I don't want to tell you that if you spend $400 on something, you got ripped off. And I also don't want to tell you not spend $400 on something if you want to spend it. So. You guys can let me know what you guys think below. I personally don't really see a difference, and i also not sure I really feel a difference. So, thank you guys so, so much for your love and support. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post a new video every Tuesday and Thursday. I have a blog where I do reviews on products such, such as this and uh, other makeup stuff on Wednesdays on my blog, and then on Saturdays I do a fashion 
blog and then also on Sundays I do a vlog where I talk about my self-employed life and things that are going on. So thank you guys again. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye. What? Look at this over here. This is like a little frizzy. This side isn't. Dun dun.